Uh, it feels amazing to be a New York Jet, man. Just knowing I'm going to a team, a franchise with a great defense already, just adding another um, asset, another um, tool to their defense would be amazing, man. So. Um, it's amazing to be able to play with those guys, man. Those guys are great players, man. Franchise pro bowler players, man. That and just to go into a franchise knowing that I can learn from those veterans, learn from those older guys on how to be a pro on the field, off the field is amazing. And just knowing that I got CJ Mosley there, uh, a person who I always look up to, a person who I always uh, ask for advice and fed off of and uh, looked up to and grew up watching, uh, is amazing also. So. Um, I really don't have anything to say for him because like, um, the game's changing right now. Uh, without interior defense alignment, man, edge rushers are not edge rushers because you got to have that person to uh, push the pocket so the edge rusher can get the sack. Because with just edge rushers, quarterbacks can just step up in the pocket and complete the pass on in the down. And they have to be able to have guys who can start to run at the elite level and also pass the, uh, I mean, start to pass at the elite level. So uh, I feel like defensive tackles are evolving. Uh, defensive tackles are going higher in the draft just because of that reason. Uh, I'm very excited, man. I had visit um, New York uh, for a whole week uh, just to get a chance to see the, all the big things, see the Empire State Building, to see the like the 9/11 Memorial, and it's just been amazing, man. I've been, uh, I had loved uh, just going. I just hear a lot of things about it, man. Just me and my agent went and ate at different restaurants and ate at different things like that, and it's just been amazing. I'm uh, glad to be a part of New York Jets and get to experience that. Oh, for sure, man. Everybody, like, since I uh, since I got drafted, everybody been saying, like, uh, about Tom Brady, man. Tom Brady the GOAT, man. And uh, anytime you're going against somebody that's great as Tom Brady, it'll be a, a, amazing to put his sack on your resume. But at that, but like, I want to sack every quarterback. Every time I go against a quarterback, I want to dominate every quarterback. So. Um, for my collegiate career, man, Coach Saban's been amazing, man. Just giving me advice every day um, since I declare on, on how to be a pro, what I need to uh, look for, and different things like that. So since uh, I declare, I mean, I call Coach Saban almost every other day uh, to learn from him, to learn different things about him. Uh, the NFL to basically get the blueprint from it. So it's been amazing. Uh, man, I learned a lot of stuff from the guys, man, on the field and off the field. We're going through this process. I learned a lot from them. They just taught me a lot of things by uh, keeping my body right, staying focused, uh, not don't get complacent, man, just doing everything in general to be, uh, become the player that they know I can become. So, um, I give a lot of advice to young athletes, but the most thing is stay focused. Um, at an early age, I wasn't. Um, I had became focused on what I wanted to be when I grew up, what I wanted to do, and since then I've been pu pushing and pursuing what I wanted to do. And it's not just becoming an NFL football player; it's becoming just a good player on the field, off the field, and just being a dominant player on the field and just hard working every day. So, as a young guy, I tell them, um, find out what you love and do it to a passionate level. Oh, man, I had a lot of conversations with Greg Williams, man, with my visit there, man. I know that he knows Coach Saban very well. He's similar to Coach Saban, and he's a hard-nosed coach, man, and I'm just ready to be able to play for him and with him. So, um, Probably be the guys, man. I had um, the guys, man, in the locker room conversation and things like that. But being playing for Alabama, that brotherhood would always be there. So uh, I know those guys got my back just like I got their back 24-7. So. Sir, oh man, my jacket, I just got an all gray suit, man. It's just super nice, man. But in the inside, I got a little kid. It, it, I got a little kid. I'm going to do a, a thing. Uh, it's like a commercial. Not a commercial, but it's like a cartoon with a uh, man, a little kid named Isaac Brown. He's a uh, Disney, Disney actor uh, about a little kid that's getting bullied that want to be an NFL football player, that want to be a big-time person. Um, and I'm that big-time person, that NFL football player that he want to be. So... 
Probably not, man. I don't eat I hot too much anymore. Just because, huh? I don't know too much. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I know I will probably go to the hotel, get some rest or something like that. I don't know. I gotta talk to my agent and see what we're gonna do. So. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you.